Hello everyone. I wanted to show you how workload planning works in Schoology. Um, so let's say I'm about to create a test in my grade 6 technology class. Before I pick a date uh, and post it, what I would do instead is go down here to workload planning. What this does is it shows me every student in my class and their workload for the week. So I can see if I was planning to do something, Thursday might not be the day to do it because they have two things going on. Uh, every student in my grade 6 class has two things going on on that Thursday. So I can see I have 12 students with stuff going on on, on that Thursday is what I mean to say. I think I said Tuesday. Um, so I might wonder, well, what, what are those two things? I'm going to click there and find out. So I can click on any of these students and it'll show me that in grade 6 math, she has homework due on that day. And here in grade 6 music, she has a recording submission that she needs to complete. So those are the two things. Now, homework, recording submission, could I put a test on that day? That's where you use your professional judgment. I'd say, for me, probably with these two pieces of uh, two things assigned, that it would be fine to go ahead and put a test on this Thursday. And I could go ahead and do that. So then I just go into my materials. Uh, I'd pick whatever unit it was that I'm going to have the test on. I'd add an assignment. And I'd put the prefix test. Whatever uh, the test is about. Let's say, you know, unit 2 test. And then I could go down and pick my date. Now, uh, I think it's okay to put it this Thursday because one of those items was homework, the other one was a music submission. But maybe I want to be a little bit nicer than that, and I noticed they didn't have anything uh, in particular on Friday. I could go ahead and put that on Friday, too. I'm just going to cancel because I don't actually want to put a test. But there's one other thing that I want to show you, and that is, right now, it only shows anything on this calendar if they have two items or more assigned. If I click on this list, I can change that to three or four. Uh, right now, you can't choose one or more items. Ideally, I'd like to see that. And I've already uh, heard from a few of you that you'd like to see that as well. And I put it in as a feature request to Schoology. So hopefully we hear back from them pretty soon about that. And then we can see everything that these girls are doing uh, in a week. I can go week to week like that. So if I wasn't sure about doing it on Friday, maybe I wanted it on Monday, I could look, oh, there's nothing there. And maybe that's a better day to pick. So anyway, that's how you use workload planning. And hopefully that helps you uh, plan workload.